Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed are thou, Dolly, and the King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us from gross cells with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, and you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, a house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah, for sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai. Who teaches Torah to his people Israel? Blessed are you, Adonai, and you, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Blessed. May, may Adonai watch you. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you and be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's reads are Galatians 3:10 through 14 and 5:13 through 26. Hebrews 9:11 through 28. Galatians 3, 10 through 14. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be every one who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before Elohim by the law, for righteousness shall live by faith. But the law is not of faith, rather the one who does them shall live by them. A Mashiach redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one who is hanged on a tree, so that it is in Yeshua HaMashiach the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. Galatians 5.13-16 For you are called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. But I say walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. But these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensu sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of Elohim, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Yeshua HaMashiach have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep this, keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Come on, go down. There you go. Uh, Hebrews 9:11 through 28. By when Hamashiach appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, he entered once and for all into, into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and cows, but by the means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled person with the ashes of a heifer sanctify for the purification of flesh, how much more will the blood of a Hamashiach, who through the eternal spirit have offered himself without blemish to Elohim, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. Since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant, for where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established, for a will takes effect only after death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore, not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded to, for you. And in the same way he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the 
law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with the better sacrifices than these, for Hamashiach has entered not only into holy place made with hands which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear with the presence of Elohim on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself re repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own. For then he would have to suffer repeatedly since the foundation, since the foundation of the world. But as, that, but as it is, he has appeared once and for all to end the ages to put away sin by the sanctif by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, so Hamashiach, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Blessed art thou, Donai, the new king of the universe, to get the Torah of truth and serve everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, give the Torah, Brukata, Donai, and the human lock, hello, Master Natan, Lunu, Tredi, Matt, by Shalom, Natavata, Kinu, Brukata, Donai, Natin, Atara. Well, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.